chip against Gamer V. Mmm, interesting standing heavy kick to catch. I guess the recovery frames. I don't know if he knew Gamer V was crouching. Drivers to keep the Oki. Oh my god! Life lead, dash. Okay. Standing like it, saving lives since forever. Sangi is standing like it. Kichipa is trying to use crouching medium kick. Which makes sense. Good poking button. This was really good. So this is plus two. Good stuff. Gamer B went to neutral and got grabbed. He was walking back. And now, Kichipa drive rushes. Knee. Gamer B tried to jump. And back jump. So he was scared of the Oki. SPD does not give Sangif that good of an Oki. And from here, Kichipa reacted. In fact, he buffered. He was buffering over here. Super level 1. Good stuff. That was a really good buffer. And now you have Oki. You can continue the pressure here with Drive Rush. SPD? Light SPD though. He could have used mid. Medium SPD. And he continued the pressure. Look at look at the entire sequence. Super level 1. Drive Rush. Light SPD. Drive Rush. Standing like kick. Now, this is not necessarily something guaranteed for Sangif. It's just Ed has such a bad standing and crouching light punches, at least for waking up. Sangif can basically abuse the wake up. And also, you're not that scared because uh, he doesn't have the best buttons, the best uh, Shuriken. But that is not real. So if you ever go to play, if you ever go and play uh, another Ed, probably a Latin American Ed, they will back jump or back dash standing heavy punch. Oh baby! Okay. This is something you do sometimes. Only because Kichipa did it, you don't have to use it all the time. This is very situational. And you do have Oki okay after this. You can drive rush. What? Drive rush into crouching light kick, probably to force a jump, and then he did another drive rush, but this is something interesting. Two meters, three meters, four meters. He wasted four meters for a mix-up. This is significant. Now here Tokiro can react. He can react with a button. So let's see what happens. He tried to jump. Maybe he thought Kichipa was going to use SPD. Now here, Kichipa is plus 10. I'm guessing he will go for Hellstab. Another Couching Light Punch. Okay. Whoa, and he had meter to kill. He absolutely had meter to kill here. Boom. Boom. He got a drive rush. Well, not necessarily needed to kill that I actually see the dry, the health gauge. But good enough to continue the pressure with meter. Whoa. All the SPD. Sorry, all the Bosch Dynamite. Wow. Medium punch established that. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. This crouching light punch was a punish counter. As you can see here, this is plus 10. You can go into a standing light kick. Now, I don't know if this is the best combo. In fact, it is really bad. But at least you did Lariat and you continue the pressure. Maybe he's trying not to be predictable. Absolutely. I bet Tokido and Kichipa play all the time. That was a beautiful delayed standing light punch. 
Kichipa is using grab. He tried to grab. No punish. You're dead. Health stab into dry brush, crouching light punch. That is a true block string. And uh, that is pretty bueno. That uh, crouching light punch was plus five. The Kichipa did not commit. Okay, dry brush. We saw Kichipa using a standing light punch, a standing light kick. Dry brush, light SPD. What is he going to use now? <laughs> and technically, that was a good idea. So he was jumping back. But what can you do with Sangif? Oh, Lariat. You hit. Shikuro continued the Oki. He decided to give Tokido a little bit of space. You have Super 2 available, Super 3 available. Same from Tokido. If Tokido lands the Super Level 3, he will get a burnout. Ooh. Ooh. You are dead here. Light SPD is a guaranteed punish. If you're not in burnout, you can SPD the standing like uh, standing head again. Because even though Kimberly does not do a lot of damage, she's very annoying. She moves around too fast, overheads, plus frames. She takes you to a corner very fast, and now you have to take the OK 24 7. Okay. Hit me, baby. Hit me with a standing heavy punch. <laughs> He's jumping back with standing he with a jumping heavy punch. Crazy. What's he trying to do? Set up. Oh, the lariat. Interesting. For a moment, I thought Kobayan was not going to end the round with Lariat. You're not reacting. So he didn't he didn't see Kimberly going for any kind of low, so he just stood up. And then crouch again. <laughs> Whoa, you're going too crazy. Imagine that juggle. Odin Lariat again. What happened here? This is something very, very good to show people. Even the best players drop the health stab into super. Pretty common. You got your dry gauge back. If he lands a standing light punch, he will dry rush. And yeah, GG. Yeah, that Lashar. Nothing fancy so far. Come on, poking. Crouching medium punches, standing medium kicks. Kobayan is a fan of standing medium kick. He really likes that button. Mm. Oh my god, you're jumping forwards against the char. Okay. <clears throat> they can press something. Well, they can, he can use Shiryugan, basically. That's what I'm trying to say. Or Super. Perfect parry. Light SPD? Mm, look at this. Dry rushed. And he stopped here. For the crouching medium kick to whiff. Then he walked forwards. And pressed crouching medium punch. I think he wanted the punish counter crouching medium punch. And that is real. Crouching medium punch into lights, real. True block swing from a dry brush. Perfect parry back throw. Yeah. Back throw into <laughs> spine buster. He did a micro walk here, as you can see. You're plus eight. You have to delay that throw. That's the walk forward. He waited. Boom. Super meaty. 
And here your Gyoki from Spinebuster, as you guys know, is so good. You can do a Shimmy here. Well, he did. Oh no. Is he going is he going for Lariat? I hope he doesn't. Oh, full of throw. Oh my. Not like this. Oh my god. That is the way. First, Kobayan against NL. Spoiler alert. He lost. You can delay the throw a little bit. But you you need to commit. That's what I'm trying to say. NL emit. Wow. Drive impact. SPV? Yeah, Bosch Dynamite. Bosch Dynamite. NL does not care. Dash. Mm -hmm. Drive rush. Dash also works. Now you're in the corner. Escape this place. Unless you layer it. Almost the same drag gauge. Both of them <laughs> buffering the super level 2 and super level 1, respectively. Mmm. Interesting. Dash. Oh, you're dead. GG. What changed? Mm. Turning light kick, cancelling into drive rush is not necessarily the best idea. It will depend on the matchup and who you are playing against. They're trading a lot. Nice standing here, bunch. Drive rush. That's something you don't see every day. You can drive rush into whatever you want. Asasi is basically stopping NL from getting closer and using standing heavy punch or couching medium punch. So he's using the, basically, the standing medium punches specifically as a stop sign against an L. An L, an L is getting forwards, walking forwards and pressing buttons. As you can see here, he's using standing medium kick before he used crouching, basically standing light punch. And Asas is getting counter it. So he's catching the start of frames. And all of this damage has been just by stopping NL from walking forwards. NL is not jumping forwards, just walking. Another one, standing like it. Now, this is not real. If you ever hit someone with a standing like kick without punish counter or counter hit, your best option is just to go into crouching light punch, health stab, lariat, if you want to go for a short combo. That is a frame trap, basically. Standing like kick, on hit, crouch medium punch, hell, uh, it's a frame trap. Same with uh, the on block version. Standing heavy punch as anti air. This is the slightly charged version of anti air. Oh, baby. The same standing medium punch Asase has been using during the whole match. Now NL recognized that and used just drive impact. Because what's, what's your option with Sangif? Hold the standing heavy punch, use super level 2, super level 3. You're gonna be in burnout still, so you can wake up with super level 3 or just wait. The super level 3 is still an option. This could have been it. Back throw. That was a really, really interesting match. So the reason why Kobayan lost was not stopping the, the offense of NL. And... On the other hand, Asase was using a lot of standing medium punches, heavy punches. L did not jump. 
I guess he was scared of Lariat, and that way the the only static medium punch that lost to something was to the eye in the corner. Sassy really stood his ground against NL, against Luke, a character that usually hits you, dry, rush, uh, dry rushes, and continue the pressure. You hate to see it when looks do that. 